Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7 Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. 1 John 4 verse 19 We love because he first loved us. Romans 13 verse 10 Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Do everything in love. Ephesians 4 verse 2 Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. 1 John 4 verse 7 Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Mark 12 verses 30 to 31 Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13 And now these three remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. John 15 verse 12 My command is this, Love each other as I have loved you. Romans 12 verse 9 Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 1 If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. Proverbs 10 verse 12 Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers over all wrongs. 1 John 4 verse 8 Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Romans 13 verse 8 Let no debt remain outstanding, except the continuing debt to love one another, for whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. Colossians 3 verse 14 And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. 1 Peter 1 verse 22 
Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. Ephesians 5 verse 25 Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. 1 John 4 verse 21 And he has given us this command, Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. Matthew 22 verse 39 And the second is like it, Love your neighbor as yourself. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 1 Follow the way of love and eagerly desire gifts of the Spirit, especially prophecy. John 13 verses 34 to 35 A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. 1 John 4 verse 12 No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. Proverbs 17 verse 17 A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Romans 5 verse 8 but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. 1 John 3 verse 1 See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 8 Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. 1 John 4 verse 16 So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And anyone who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in them. Proverbs 30 verse 5 Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. 1 John 4 verse 18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Proverbs 3 verse 3 Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Psalm of Solomon 8 verse 7 Many waters cannot quench love. Rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorned. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 2 If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. 1 John 4 verses 9 to 10 This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Ephesians 3 verses 17 to 18 So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. 1 John 4 verse 11 Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 
for I am convinced that neither death nor life, either angels nor demons, either the present nor the future, nor any powers, either height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Proverbs 19 verse 22 What a person desires is unfailing love, better to be poor than a liar. 1 John 4 verse 10 This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Romans 12 verse 10 Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. 1 John 4 verse 20 Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister, whom they have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 11 When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. 1 John 4 verses 7 to 8 Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Romans 12 verses 9 to 10 Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. John 14 verse 15 If you love me, keep my commands. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12 For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. 1 John 4 verse 17 This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. 1 John 4 verse 15 If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. 1 John 4 verse 13 This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us of his spirit. Romans 13 verse 9 The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other command there may be, are summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. 1 John 4 verse 16 And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. Ephesians 5 verse 2 And walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. 1 John 3 verse 16 This is how we know what love is, Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. Proverbs 17 verse 9 Whoever would foster love covers over an offense, but whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, 
I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 3 If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. John 13 verse 34 A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. 1 John 4 verses 18 to 19 There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love, we love because he first loved us. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 5 It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs.